Hello, this is Danny from the DM Art Classes and welcome back to part 5. So next I'm going to move on to the smudge, the flatten and the crease. So if we take a paint here and I add some color, I go to the smudge and you can smudge it. This can be nice um, when you're blending colors, for example, let's take light blue put that on. In fact, I'll put this onto PPR. There we go. You can see better now. Smudge. Let's increase this. You can smudge those together. That can be nice. The flatten. Flatten is very useful when you're doing a hard surface, for example. If you want to get some nice clean sides, it does exactly what it says on the tin, flattens. So here we go. Let's flatten these bits out. And you can get some nice clean edges. Put the matte cap on, maybe you can see a little bit better there. There you go. Layer will, so if I have some detail, let me take the crease put a couple of creases in there then I want to lift this one layer up I can use the layer brush you see it just lifts it and maintains the detail that has come from underneath like that intensity higher up put the intensity down for lower for higher like that So the crease tool is something I will use regularly if I'm sculpting a character and I want to make some wrinkles, for example. You press sub and you can just put the intensity up so you can see. You can really cut in some nice details. So I don't know if you're working on hair and you want to make some line marks. Here we go. Yeah, it's good for working in the small details. This is a tool I'll use frequently for cutting, making sharp, sharp cuts. Crease is excellent for finer details right at the end, also as well. Say, for example, I have an edge here. Take the sub off. I can use the crease to define this edge. And then put sub back on. There we go. Take it off. Define this. Trim brush. So here you have the options just on the side. You have a lasso trim this and there you go it will just cut out okay and also with the trim brush you have the line so you can use the line here I still have my symmetry on which you can see here you can switch on and off so if I switch that off I can use my line boom this is nice for cutting out nice clean shapes and then we click on the camera view icon there to move it around. Rectangle. Boom. As you can see when you do like that it doesn't cut directly through because there is an option here which is set to fill holes so it will still fill but if you do it off of the edge like this it's not perfect but you can get pretty far with this. So if we put it back onto the line, you see the line is super clean, just like that. Ellipse. Let's drag out. Nice. Polygon, boom, 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 boom. And you've final on the green. Two, three, on the green. Nice. Two, three, on the green. Okay, so yeah, the, the trim is great if you're trying to get some 
hard surface details like if you're trying to make a shoulder pad for example this can be really really useful let's validate this object go on to the trim I use the we'll put the symmetry on Bam. use the line to take off the top bit here Boom. Line again, press the view, let's rotate this to the side, snap to view, press on the line, trim this, oh. let's just click on one of these brushes so I'm able to move it again. As you can see, you, you can create some nice clean objects. And obviously, if you subdivide this, you're going to get, there you go, cleaner edges. Like this. Now you can use the smooth tool to go over if you want. You can see here we've got a few little, little bumps. No, nope. let's put the voxel remesh resolution up. Let's give that a remesh. There we go, nice and clean. And then here, if you use the crease, two finger taps you undo, take away the sub. For example, we, I would need to turn down the intensity on this. But this can be good if you are making a hard edge object. You can then go back to your crease and just redefine the edges to make them more pronounced. There we go. But just g gentle touches, this might be a little bit heavy handed at the moment. You can see it's sort of lifting it up. That would be too much. You would just put the intensity right down. Then just run it along. There we go. Like that. You get the, the general gist. Okay, so let's go on to the split. This is awesome. So again, you have the lasso, the line, the rectangle, ellipse, polygon options here. So let's just use the line. Let's split this object straight in half. Boom, there we go. And if we go over to the scene menu here, you will now see your object has been split into two. So this is awesome. Really nice tool, I like this a lot. And then you can go down to your gizmo tool. We can see which one we've got selected here. There we go. And you can come to the side here, edit pivot point, which will unlock your pivot point. So for example, let's put the, the pivot point down here. Here, if I want to rotate this object to this angle, snap to view, and you can rotate on that pivot point. Okay, so let's go back, let's undo that. So, split object also, as well. Let's go back to split. Let's use the polygon is one tool I use frequently for everything, to be honest. Now, this can be good when you take off perspective and put autographic um, if you're trying to get some clean cut straight through. So let's do it like this. Let's see if I want to bam, bam. Let's make this nice and clean. I want to take that top surface off. Boom, there we go. Click on view to rotate, go to scene menu, 
hide that top object. There you go. Sliced. Slice that off. Snap to view. Switch that back on. Let's get the move tool. Click and lift. Brilliant. Okay, let's undo that. Two finger taps. Line. Boom. Move tool. If I move this. Okay, so we'll move on to the project. This will flatten it down. So again, you have curves here. Yeah, let's use a curve here. There you go. You'll see it all. But you see this uh, piece here, this is where it's been flattened. So it's not going to cut it off. It'll push it down to the other. Uh, for example, if I use the line here, boom. boom. Let's just get a clean object. Delete, delete, add a sphere, validate, snap to view, project. There we go. So this will actually flatten down from where you are. It won't cut it. It'll okay. So now I'm going to go on to the inflate. Inflate is a really nice tool. Actually, I use inflate quite a lot. Let me find something that would be a good example. If I used it along this edge, so this is inflate. I mean, it does what it says. It inflates an area. And also, if you use the sub, it'll take away. This can be nice when you're trying to fill a hole up. So if you've got an object and you've got a, a hole in there that you need to fill up before you voxel remesh. Uh, let me show you an example. So if I do this. Okay. I press voxel. I've got this hole there. And uh, I would like to remove that. So I would do this. And then I'll press voxel. For example, but there is also with the flatten, you have the op option to fill as well. So, for example, let's make a hole in here. Let's get the clay sub, carve a hole, go to flatten, fill. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. And that's filled that voxel remesh. So that can be used, or you can use the inflate. It's up to you. Okay, pinch. So pinch, again, they're quite self-explanatory, a lot of these. Pinch will pinch an edge, which can be nice. I like using the pinch on edges. The same like the crease, uh, how I would use a crease. Let's uh, undo this object. Let's make some edges finger tap to redo okay so I've got this edge here you just pinch the edge see how this is getting nice and clean now well that's so nice so I'll undo that so you can see that was it before three finger tap to redo and that's from using the pinch tool big difference it's very nice you can do it on here as well so you can see super clean very clean See, the crease will lift up. This will more pinch it. So here, let's do that there. Do that there. Makes it nice and sharp. Yeah, really clean. Really clean. So I'll undo that a second, and I'm going to show you the difference between the pinch and the crease when it comes to edges. So let's get that crease. That's it. Yeah, that's coming out. So this will more lift it. It'll lift it up. So if I do it here. Subdivide. Okay. So you see, crease will lift like that, but the pinch will just pinch it together nice and gentle. Really good. Really nice. 
sub. Okay, nudge will nudge. So if you just need to tap something along, you know, without making too big a bump, nudge, I honestly don't really use nudge barely ever, but definitely useful. All the tools are useful here, every single one of them. You, you will find um, the different ones that you will use the most. You, you will more than likely use all of these at some point, definitely. Uh, it's good to keep things simple, and there's a nice set here which you can stick to. Okay, so that's this for part five. I hope you found this useful. If it's helped you a lot, please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll have part six ready for you as soon as possible. Thank you.